Good afternoon, traders. This is Rich Derrick from TradeSite. This is our look at the scans for the ETFs for this uh, coming session. That's going to be um, Tuesday, March 26, 2013. Right now, we've got a little bit of a distribution day going. We uh, gapped up, filled today's gap, and actually reached down and filled uh, Friday's gap, which was just kind of hanging out there and definitely on the uh, technical to do list since markets like to fill, fill Friday gaps. So we did it today, it took an extra day, but done nonetheless. What, we, what we're left with here is just some, some sloppy closes. We don't have any signals right now from our major ETFs, but we're uh, obviously well below the opens, and uh, we're starting to get some distance back down below the VWAP with about a half an hour left to trade. On to the individual sectors. Um, again, uh, just kind of distribution and, and, and general sloppy trading. We've got a couple of sell signals but uh, nothing that's really sticking out on volume. Um, the one that, that's probably the strongest here is the KRE. Uh, it's up on the day, but we've got a camouflage sell signal. It's below the open by about uh, four-tenths of a percent and on uh, above average volume. On to the commodities. Um, they're a little bit sloppy here. Uh, we've got a sell signal in the DBC and also the USO. Um, the one buy signal is the GLD, which is a camouflage buy signal. That's probably a little bit more in line with uh, just the risk off that's that's being done right now. So gold's kind of a little bit of a little bit of a safety trade right now. This USO is on increased volume, and so that's always worth noting. As far as the foreigns go, we're kind of sloppy here. We've got a couple of CPSs. Uh, we've got one in the RSX and one in the EWZ. Uh, pretty good volume in the EFA and also the uh, EWG, the German tracking uh, shares. That's uh, almost 2% below the open, so they definitely um, sold the news from the bailout, if you will. Right now, Europe kind of was uh, up about 1.5% when we first started trading this morning and just kind of started leaking. Uh, but they were closed during a lot of uh, our range expansion to the downside, so they may wind up catching up tomorrow morning, so just be aware of that. As far as the specials go, we're definitely seeing some uh, some good volume bumps in the specials, which usually is the traders from the larger time frame uh, making some bets here. So definitely be aware of those. Big volume bump in the URE and the DIG. Seeing a big volume bump in the in the QID. And SRS is the one that's really sticking out, almost 400% uh, of the typical volume. Only one signal we do have here is a downside uh, camo signal in the TVTs. Um, so we'll have to see how that shakes out tomorrow. All right, folks, so well, that's going to be it for today. Uh, as always, thanks for listening, and we'll uh, check in with you and hope to see you again tomorrow.